when you were like telling someone you want to plant coffee, it's like, okay, are you crazy? <laughs> There are many amazing places on our planet, but this one is definitely one of the most magical ones. We are traveling into the splendor of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Few places have a stronger sense of adventure and mystery, and just sheer beauty. This place is very close to my heart. What used to bring me here was to report on the situation during the years of conflict. For more than a generation, the Congolese population has been suffering from war and insecurity in one of the worst conflicts since World War II. And now, on top of that, there is Ebola. But this time, I'm not here to report on misery. Now, for the first time, I'm here to hunt for coffee grown in the rich volcanic soil along Lake Kivu. Our barista Jovia and me are visiting the Kadobu coffee farm, run by the Sangara brothers. Esquire, Bob and uh, Popol. We were born when our father was working for a coffee company and in 2011 when he resigned from that company that's when he decided to do his own farm. All the coffee you'll see around were starting being planted and that's how the farm started. And when the father passed away, it was like natural for us to, to continue that legacy. Our first crop was in the month of October 2014. After that, we had the idea to create a station de la vache. Mais à l'époque, on n'était pas encore en mesure de d'atteindre cet objectif. In the beginning, the farm used quite simple equipment to process the coffee cherries, and all was done manually. On a vu que c'était beaucoup plus fatigant avec la main, d'autant plus que nos quantités commençaient à s'accroître. C'est par là qu'on a incorporé certains dynamos, donc question de faciliter la tâche. Another challenge when producing washed coffee is the amount of water needed during processing. This region, on the outskirts of the immense Congo rainforest, receives plenty of rainfall. But getting it up to the farm is still hard work. Before we had this uh, pump we, we have, it was a little difficult to get water. Water was brought from... Uh, Jerkins and... Uh, yeah, so water was a little difficult. Yet it was essential for the work, but when we got that, that pump, it was better. The brothers continued developing the farm and have now built a state-of-the-art coffee washing station. This is vital if you want to offer the best quality coffee. That's what we call the canal de gradage. There are now two people who have des spatules and who do the remuage. L'objectif poursuivi ici c'est de faire asséguer le le café, le bon café, le café lourd et le moins lourd passe en haut. But even when you have produced world class coffee, there are still challenges. Fang bar is difficult. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Yeah. Even today, many Congolese farmers don't see how coffee can be profitable particularly when the market is far away on other continents. The Congolese coffee used to have uh, a market like a long time ago. And then we went through some several years where people also lost interest in the coffee. People would rather plant bananas from which they see an immediate uh, benefit than plant coffee. But slowly things are starting to change and the Congolese coffee is about to make a comeback. Now people have started to see some benefits in planting coffee and now they are coming back to coffee. But when we started here, when you were like telling someone you want to plant coffee, it's like, okay, are you crazy? <laughs> Why don't you just put their banana or beans in two months, you have their beans. After so many dark years of hardship, 
For the young generation, it can be hard to find hope and opportunities for the future. You have many of the youth, they finish their school, they've gone to high school, university, and at the end of the day, there is no industry, there is no new work. When you are young, all you see first is have fun, have uh, whatever you want at that moment. So you see the instant and not the, the future. Le défi, donc, c'est-à-dire que la, le défi, c'est d'abord euh, la distraction. Beaucoup de jeunes sont distraits dans des futilités, la drogue, euh, les boissons alcoolisées. Donc, s'ils parvenaient à surmonter cela, l'avenir serait prometteur pour eux. Our system doesn't allow people to be entrepreneurs. Yeah. Like they teach us to follow others. <laughs> And I think if the youth can could like develop a more entrepreneur mind to know that okay I don't find a job somewhere but I can be a creator of some job that also can be uh, something good for the future of the youth. Fortunately, the entrepreneurial mindset is definitely present in the Sangara brothers who are now about to make their mark on the global coffee scene. C'est notre dépôt, euh, c'est-à-dire le café, la façon dont nous le traitons, c'est du café lavé. Nous le distinguons selon trois catégories. Il y a la première qualité, la deuxième et la troisième. Now, the missing link for the Congolese coffee farmers is a good direct connection with the international coffee buyers. When you directly meet with the buyers, you get a good price, a fair price. C'est toujours bien de, de faire la, une bonne qualité. Pourquoi? Parce que si vous avez de la bonne qualité, vous avez bien traité votre café, vous allez bien le vendre. We are very happy to buy coffee from the Sangara Brothers and are proud to offer it to our coffee subscribers. Oui, on est optimiste. Pourquoi? Parce que le café, c'est quelque chose qui ne meurt pas. After so many years of hardship, it makes me truly happy to see that coffee can create a strong future for this unique place.